So we are putting the driveway to the test, okay? Um, we are in the process of finishing it, yeah. So we still have a couple more loads of gravel to arrive so we can spread the rest of it out. However, in between the last driveway video and this video, we've had a pretty big significant snowstorm. It was, let me put it this way, 80 degrees the day before and we got five inches of snow overnight you and, know, that and that's with a warm ground, right? So had we had a frozen ground, we could have probably gotten twice to three times as much. So, so we are expecting our gravel de delivery this week. So we are gonna be testing out the driveway conditions. And you know that a, de, um, a dump truck filled with gravel is very heavy. And so we're really gonna be seeing how that geo cell holds up. And in addition to the gravel, we're kind of taking it one step further with um, testing out this driveway. And not on purpose, but this is a great experience for us to learn from. We have another delivery expected. Um, it's probably gonna be something like a tractor trailer with a shipping container. So it's gonna be really heavy loads. We're talking in the tons on the driveway that we just installed, the, the, um, the gravel, the geo cell and everything. So we, we, um, this is our video to really test it out and to tell you, you know, how we think it's holding up. So to appreciate the work we've done on the driveway, we've got to go all the way back to the beginnings. Here is the kind of the clearing of the initial driveway with all of the trees out. But we did have a professional come in to do the road base, but, um, and we've done gravel since then, but as you can see in this little clip here, a lot of the gravel ends up getting pushed to the side of the driveway by the end of the winter time because, you know, up here we do a lot of snow removal and for us that means using the tractor to plow, to scrape, and with between that and all of the snow melting, you'll see a lot of the gravel coming off the driveway. So you can imagine that makes a big problem <laughs> by the springtime with snow melt and water runoff. So let's just take a, a closer look at exactly how that pans out come spring. And I should preface this by saying I didn't used to have a four-wheel drive car. I used to drive a Mini Cooper. So here we are coming up the driveway. And so my strategy always was to get as much momentum as I could and try to really gun it to get up that hill. But you can see just by the ruts already uh, that you get to a certain point and you really can't get any further. So here I am admitting defeat pretty much not climbing anymore and having to go right back down the hill. And that means parking the car in the mud and then walking up the hill in the mud. You got it. So, yep, we were ready for our solution for the driveway. So I'm evaluating uh, the status of the driveway. The areas where we didn't get a chance to pack the uh, pack the gravel down. They're very spongy. Um, there's still, you know, a few pockets where we've got um, some moisture. The snow is melting, although you can see around me that it's still here, but it's mild. It's almost 40 degrees, so the snow that we received is melting, so it's really sinking into the driveway. You know, we've, we've been utilizing the driveway and really packing it down. We've gone over it on the tractor several times, and some areas are, like, rock hard, but with all of this moisture, you know that means that things are softening up. So does the spell trouble? No one will find out. But obviously it's clearly soaking wet here. And if our big tractor were to drive on it, um, we're gonna have some problems. It's not just a concern, it's a reality. It's actually very soft in some, some areas. So my hope is that when we get these deliveries that it doesn't, it's not this soft where the geocell is. We're hoping. All right, here it comes. Big old load. I have to tell him to turn around. Nice. Folks, we got our first delivery down. So let's go just see how the driveway's holding up. 
Um, I'm not sure if our second delivery is going to be heavier. I know a shipping container is quite heavy, but I'm thinking the loads of gravel might make more of an impact and one of them is coming up here. So this was definitely a soft area. So he came in and made the corner and definitely seeing the tracks, right? But you know, it's soft, but it's not out of control. So maybe some of the biggest ruts are right here. But you know what I don't see? I don't see the geosol popping through. Right up on the, the steep section of the hill, there are some spots where the geosols kind of like poke through. You can see the edges of it. But I mean, that's hard as a rock. I don't see any movement on this on this hill, on the slope, that's completely packed with geocell. I mean, none of this moved. So There's a we got one more delivery to go, and that is two dump truck loads of gravel. And that should be the final test for today for our brand new driveway that we just installed with the gravel mix and the geocell. I hate to tear it up right now, but um, we're testing it out. We are testing the limits of our drive and it's kind of like a preview for the spring. We don't have to wait till the spring. <laughs> So we need to investigate just how much the driveway got tore up after the gravel delivery. So you can see behind me here, the upper part of the driveway that does not have any gravel on it is pretty much a mud pit at this point. It's um, soft. It still has a lot of water shed from the snow. And we definitely need to be spreading this gravel and making it super tight. It was kind of fun that our gravel delivery guy, you know, he recommended this product, the Crusher Mix. He says, once it dries out, he says it's rock hard. He goes, that's what I have in my driveway. So there's some soft spots. I think we've seen a couple of these before. And I asked the delivery, I asked our gravel guy, you know, did the driveway seem pretty soft to you? And he said, yes, but he said, you know, after it dries, it'll be rock hard. So here we are, this is the softest part of the driveway. Pretty much what I expected. Um, so because the driveway was so soft, uh, there's a lot of ridges on the corner. And um, you know, it's probably one of those things that, that we're gonna have to um, take care of over time. One good thing I guess you can say is that the underlying geogrid isn't disturbed. It's a lot of the surface gravel that is moved and sort of ridged up. Okay, so this is sort of what happened. There was a really, really thick layer of this gravel mix, the, the crusher mix, and we've got the ridges. I'm thinking we can probably go back over those with a tractor and kind of push them back down again before they get hard and stay on, stay in peaks like that. So that's probably the part of the driveway that did the worst is the soft area right up here. The hillside looks the same as it did after. So the second dump truck went through and just pretty much undisturbed, pretty much undisturbed right there. The one spot that dis does have some ridging, the, the gridding underneath, I mean, it's not even, it's not even like budged. So that's definitely promising. So I think we'll probably put down some more to make sure that these stay covered throughout the winter. And hopefully we can get the entire driveway to be hard packed like this. So I think you can definitely tell that it's the soft parts of the driveway that are the most susceptible to tire ruts when the driveway is soft. But if you look at the tire track 
area specifically, and it's particularly on the hill, those were almost rock hard and dried, and they did not absorb a lot of moisture in the storm. So those areas did the best. And I think what we can tell just by this trial, and it's almost like I'm saying thanks again for the storm because we had a, we're having this opportunity to sort of practice and fine tune our driveway to get it where we need it for the winter time. But overall, I think we're definitely pleased with the GeoGrid um, system. We're definitely, the GeoCell, we're definitely um, feeling like that was a worthwhile investment at this point because um, had we not had any additional gravel on the driveway and the driveway was that soft with those heavy delivery trucks, we could have probably done some major damage. Well guys, that is the update from our driveway and uh, the testing its performance under heavy snow loads and heavy deliveries. <laughs> Incredible. So nothing that we planned. We did not want it to go that way. We did not want to have major trucks driving up heavy deliveries during, you know, right shortly after snowstorms where the driveway was completely soft. That was unfortunate, but it gave us the opportunity to really see what it might be like this spring and to see how we can improve it now to make it even better before um, the winter weather arrives. But right now we got quite a wind happening behind me. So hopefully um, this video, uh, you can still hear me. <laughs> and stay tuned because this weekend you're going to find out exactly what we're doing with the storage container. Okay. So all of that trouble and we're going to take care of some business. And so we'll, we'll keep you posted on that guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye now.